Lots of people ask me, what is the future of social media? What's going to happen with the e-revolution? And I can't tell you what's going to happen. But what I can tell you is what themes there are. And some of the, the, the sort of conduits and what's going to happen that's going to make things change. And the big themes that really are happening at the moment are, first of all, mobile. Without fail, the last two, three years has been all about mobile. In the e-commerce world, it's very much about people buying things on mobile phones, people searching for things, people watching videos, people sharing photos. You know, with your mobile phone, your smartphone, you basically take a photo, upload it to Instagram, share it with the world. So they know where you are, what you're doing, you've seen something cool and interesting, you're sharing it. So, so the, the, the sort of mobile world is going to get quicker and faster and more interesting. Maps, I mean, I love Google Maps. You know, I go to a meeting that's just outside the station. So in London, I know to get from station A to B, but I don't know where to go after that. It's fine. I sit on the train, I chill, out the station, Google Maps, type the address, Follow the directions. It's brilliant. I don't need to have a map and plan. Although if your phone's out of coverage, you're in trouble. But <laughs> and so, so mobile and using mobile more and more, absolutely the first and you know, the most important thing. And to be fair, to enable that is the, the Wi-Fi world, the 3G, 4G, the, the sort of network that's going around this, you know, in Japan and things everybody's on 4G and it's significantly faster than anything in the UK. And so we, we still need to catch up, but it's out there. You know, in Japan in five years time, I am sure you can download the l biggest movie ever in 30 seconds and watch it on your phone in HD. And you know, the experience would just be immense. So the, so the actual um, technology and the infrastructure is gonna grow which means more data, more downloads, more demand. On that sort of idea, the demand, I want it now, I want to see it now, I want the music now, I want that product now. The, the world of on demand is gonna grow. We, we want everything now. We don't wanna wait anymore. So be it a new phone, be it a service, be it you know anything, you want it now and you want it where you want it. And the complication with this, with a, a retail, an e-tail business, is that if you're ordering a physical product, well, you could order it now, absolutely, but hang on, it's in a warehouse 200 miles away. How do we bridge this distance? And in the industry, we call it the last mile. And the last mile is, is probably the biggest issue that any e-business is going to face how to deliver that product. Um, Amazon are trying drones. You know, it's a little helicopter that flies into your back garden and drops off your parcel. That's scary. That's really scary. And to be fair, in England, it's not going to work because it rains. So, But cool technology. But you know, your normal technology in terms of, and your normal process operations, should I say. You know, we travel. We go to petrol stations. We go to local shops. We go to train stations. So if I want something in the morning, a new jumper, I order it. And on my way home, I go through the station, I open a locker and I take my jumper. That is quick. And that's where we're getting to with some of the retailers. And also, you know, the, the locker boxes in terms of in your local high street and your local shops, you can order from the big names now and your local news agent could have your product. So. So this last mile, this, this sort of last idea, last sort of place to get the product is a big change. And I'm not sure where it's going to get to because it's a physical thing, but it's definitely getting quicker and a lot more intuitive. And I think the next thing really is the growth of social media itself. The more people will be connected. Facebook has so much money, it's shocking. It's bigger than countries, you know, in terms of the money it has. And one of the things that they want to do is, is bring the internet to people less fortunate than, you know, the, the sort of the, the first world countries. 
And what they're trying to do is, is bring cheap tablets, cheap tablet PCs, cheap laptops, so that people in those countries can connect with us and we can connect with them. And the value and education that you could bring to you know, some of the third world countries now of giving them a tablet or a, a, a laptop to access the world of data, it, it's transformational in terms of the, you know, the, the, the standards in the world and education in the world. And I think really alongside that, and the point of what we're doing in social media is you have to get on there now. It's only going to get bigger. It will get bigger, more networks, more people. I think part of that will be more personalized. So we'll be part of bigger networks, but within that, we will be part of this group, which is specifically my interest in cars, in e-commerce, in business. And it's specifically, I'll talk to the people around the world, amazing people that want to share this hobby, share this business and share these thoughts. So it's quite important that we really grasp and get on the journey now before the train leaves the station, because it's only going to get bigger and with technology, it's going to get faster and cheaper. So you can connect anywhere across the world with anyone. And the learning and the power of that is, is absolutely immense.